Folks, we've got our first look at the new Batmobile from Matt Reeves, the Batman, and I have some thoughts. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel, and let's get into this. Now, look, right off the bat, I've got to be completely honest with you guys. I have mixed feelings about this Batmobile reveal and just in general, the new aesthetic for the Batman. So here it is coming straight from the Twitter of Matt Reeves himself, a new look at the new Batmobile. Now, right away, you'll notice it looks like an American muscle model. It definitely has this sort of tactile, very grounded look. It is very different than the Tumblr and even the Batmobile that we got in Justice League and in Batman v Superman. Now, executive producer Alex L actually believes that this is for sure a Pantera GT5. I really don't know, but he's convinced that that's what it's going to be. But it looks very similar to that model, and it looks a lot like a muscle car in general. Very cool, very sleek. I also should mention that Batman in these shots looks very cool. Actually, Actually, this is my favorite look at Batman so far from any set photo or the reveal that Matt Reeves did. I think it looks super cool in this shot and even the popped collar thing on the cape is working here. I like breathed a sigh of relief as I looked at it over here because he does have a cape which I know you're like of course he has a cape but technically there were other set photos that made me think hey man maybe they're not going to put a cape on Batman and I was not into that. But yeah strangely even though I do really like what I'm seeing here from the Batmobile I actually actually really like the Batman in these shots much more. Now this is clearly sort of an Earth One Batman type of a look. Not only just from the suit, but from the car itself. This looks like something you could make if you had some money and not billions, like we might expect Bruce Wayne to have allocated to his Batman adventures, but even just several thousand. This looks like something almost anybody could make, and I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that. I get that that is what they are going for in this film. Film, but I just am a little bit concerned that they're going to lean too heavily into that, that too much of the plot, too much of the story in general is all going to deal with, hey, this is a new Batman. He's screwing up. He's making poor choices. He's making gear that's not even that great. I'm just like, look, that's cool, but I really do want to evolve in this film. I'd really like to get to the point where we have a much more sleek looking Batman, a much cooler looking Batmobile that doesn't have like an open engine in the back. Like, couldn't some weapons just mess that up and then he'd no longer be able to drive around? And me and the producers talked about this and we're really split. Like, certain people like Tara and like Alex are really into this. They're loving everything they're seeing from the Batman. And then there's people like me and Al Shuler that are like, I don't know, man. I'm not crazy about what I'm seeing from the Batman. I'm just generally nervous that they're gonna believe this is how we're gonna make our movie so cool. This is how we're gonna make our stamp on Batman, have this totally new thing, is to have this really gritty, borderline, wearing hockey pads, cosplayer type of Batman, and I'm just not crazy sold on that. But I might be in the minority. I know a lot of people are very positive about the look of this Batmobile online. I know a lot of people like the look of the suit. And so, hey, look, of course I'm up for it. I'm going to check it out and I'm going to hopefully enjoy the heck out of the film. But I'm not going to lie to you. My first knee-jerk reaction when I saw this Batmobile was like, mm-mm. Uh, uh -uh. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to say that what's really interesting about this reveal is that it corroborates a plot leak that came out from a now deleted Reddit user. This Reddit user was the first, at least to my knowledge, of someone coming out and saying that this Batmobile looks like a weaponized Lamborghini, which it kind of does. Like, that's a pretty accurate description of what I would call this car, even though it's more American muscle than Lamborghini. I totally get if you weren't super into cars how you would just say that, right? Lamborghini's a popular brand and it kind of looks like that. And so now I want to read a couple other interesting things from this post on Reddit that was supposedly a leak, right? By this guy that's now a deleted user. And again, another crazy sign like, hey, maybe this guy was onto something. And uh, the fact that he had the description of the Batmobile correct makes me think that he was. So maybe check out now if you don't want any potential spoilers. But now I'm going to dig in and read a few things from that leak that I find very interesting. 
interesting. First of all, it says here that the two years thing is sort of right, and it's probably going to be more like four or five years that Batman has been doing this for about four or five years. The leak also says that the film takes place over a year. It's a long time period going on in the film, and that makes sense because there was talk that they were going to adapt the long Halloween, which is actually a collection of issues of comic books that all take place during a different holiday. And so it takes place like over the course of a year in the comic. And so, yeah, it would make sense that they're going to do that in this film. It says that the time period in the film is modern day because Gordon uses an iPhone. It says that the Batcave is one of the most complex sets this person has ever seen with multiple levels in place. It teases that the one costumed enemy that Batman had faced was the Joker, and he now has been in Arkham Asylum for a couple of years. Apparently, Edward Nashton is going to try to fill the void left by Batman's arch nemesis by becoming his intellectual rival. I assume they're talking about the Joker as being his arch nemesis. It says that the Riddler suit is a classic green and purple tie, but there is a hood attached to it like in the video games. Riddler's plans involve hostages in elaborate saw-like traps and puzzles. A lot were built as props that that function. Apparently, Riddler attempts to overthrow all of the crime families and become the one true crime king of Gotham to prove his superiority, but apparently that doesn't work. It might even backfire based on some other scenes. Apparently, one of Riddler's targets are the candidates of an upcoming Gotham election, which I believe is where Oswald Cobblepot or the Penguin will come into play because he is one of these people running for mayor. Apparently, there will be mention of Barbara, as in Barbara Gordon, and there's a prop for a collapsible bow staff, which makes me think of Nightwing. No confirmation or anything there, but could be Nightwing. Apparently, there's going to be a huge action set piece in Arkham, one in a nightclub, another in an apartment complex, and then a mansion of some kind. Apparently, there's a chase scene between Bruce and the Gotham City Police Department that involves cars falling into the ocean. And so that is pretty much it, right? That's from that leak. There's a couple other things in that leak. If you want to get really detailed, you can find it, I'm sure, online. But I think that's really interesting. Now, it's important to note, this is not the leak that was saying there are multiple suits in the film. That's not the same leak. So I don't know. That other leak could be made up, or maybe that is true and it just wasn't in this leak at all. But this seems interesting. But it speaks to me like a real really grounded postmodern take on Batman. Even this whole idea of the Riddler being this new villain, wants to prove himself, and then Penguin is running for mayor, and it's all sort of interceding in this really interesting way with the crime families. It seems really cool, but also seems very unique as a Batman flavor. And I'm just, I can't help but be a little bit concerned, guys. So even though I am excited. I do think the Batmobile looks cool. It definitely looks very different than what I would expect from a Batman movie. And if this plot is correct, then man, we're in for a very interesting take on the Batman property and one that feels very different than a lot of what we're seeing in the DCEU, which leads me to believe that this film is likely not going to be connected to the DCEU at all. All. But that's just speculation at this point, and we don't even know if that leak is correct, but I thought it was worth bringing up because this new Batmobile seems to corroborate it from the past. So let me know your thoughts about the Batmobile, about this look of Batman, and about this plot leak that might or might not be more believable now because of the reveal of the Batmobile. And now let's shout out Warren Kaspovich. Indeed, James Rogers' mother was Black Widow in the comics. That's James Roger, the son of Captain America. America in Marvel Comics. So shout out to you, Warren. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know how much you've been paying attention to the casting. Who is playing Commissioner Gordon in Matt Reeves' The Batman? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. The Den of Nerds is independent media. If you want to support us, you can do something as simple as liking or sharing this video. If you want to financially support us, you can join the list of names you see below and become a supporter of us on Patreon. We also do live streams all week, Monday through Friday, over on our live streaming channel. Support independent media. Support the Den of Nerds.